Hey everybody, welcome to the little garden kitchen. So here on the Saskatchewan prairies, we are getting towards the end of the outdoor growing season. It's getting near the end of August. And if you're like me, you got tons of tomatoes and peppers and onions. Everything is coming out of the garden faster than you can eat it. It's time to try and preserve that and save it for the winter if you can. So I have here a whole pile of tomatoes, different varieties. I got romas, I got cherries, I got some other small size tomatoes. I'm not even sure what they all are. So today I'm going to show you how I make an easy tomato sauce. I have enough here just to make a nice batch of roasted tomato sauce. I'm going to be adding in some parsley, basil, peppers, onions, garlic, everything from the garden. I'm going to roast it all up with some olive oil and seasonings. And so what I like about this recipe, there's no peeling, there's no blanching of the tomatoes. I'm just going to roast them until they break down and put them in the magic bullet and we have tomato sauce. Over here you'll see I've already roasted up a bunch of patty pan squash. So my plan today is to create some kind of a squash lasagna using this and our garden tomato sauce. So let's get started. So we start off by just washing everything and just cutting it up into smaller sizes, just removing any of the bad spots off the tomatoes. And then from there we will do the same with the peppers and onions and garlic. So next going in is some uh, fresh peppers from my garden. I got some green peppers here, some sweet bananas, and some sweet Italian frying peppers. So just rough chop them all up as well. Add them in. Going in next is some chopped up sweet onion. Got some freshly picked basil and Italian parsley here just chopped up. Okay, so this is looking really good, smelling really good. So I'm just gonna add another generous pour of olive oil all over here. And then I'm going to season with some pink sea salt. Everything is just eyeballed. It's up to you how much you want to add. I don't really have any special measurements here. Got some fresh ground pepper. And if you have more fresh herbs like oregano, thyme, definitely put those in here. I just don't have any right now. I do have some dried thyme leaves. I'm going to add those in. And just to help break down that acidity, acidity in your tomatoes, they recommend some sugar. So I have about a tablespoon of sugar here. Okay. And I'm just going to give it a good stir. I think you need some more oil, you can add a little bit more. This is going to be really tasty. Just such a great way to use up a lot of vegetables that uh, you bring out of the garden. I don't have a very large garden, so I don't do a lot of, you know, big canning or freezing, preserving. So just being able to make small batches like these works really well. So I've chopped up about six cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. Like I said, they get nice and brown and roasted in the oven. And then we will stir them in later. And that's it. It's ready to go in the oven. So I have the temperature set at 375. We'll set it in there for about 30 minutes or so. Let it get really warmed up and Check on it, see if it's ready for a stir. Here's what it looks like after about 30 minutes roasting at 375. You can see there's lots of liquid. Those tomatoes are releasing their juices. I'm gonna give it a little stir, put it back in for another 30 minutes. Here's how it looks after about an hour of roasting. As you can see, the liquid's starting to dry up. Everything's getting really roasted looking and looking great. So I think another 30 minutes. So here's what it looks like after about 90 minutes roasting away in the oven at 375. 
I'm just going to let it cool down slightly and then we will put it in the magic bullet and blend it up. So once that's cooled down a little bit, you can use your Nutribullet or blender, whatever you got, just to blend this up into a nice liquid. So I'm going to be using my Nutribullet here to blend it up and make it into some sauce. see it's nice and thick you can add this to your favorite spaghetti recipe you can freeze this in a freezer bag or in a freezable container for later use today I'm going to be adding it to a meat dish I'm going to be attempting a squash lasagna recipe So I hope you will give a try to this easy to make tomato sauce recipe. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel.